I like the fact that the, the, the character has some restraint and, and, and I live in a society in French Canada with, where we know we pour out our emotion every time but it's understandable that from the point of view an immigrant who lost his family and has to forget about some part of his past that he, and, and, and move along that he doesn't want to tell his life story to everyone and, and, and because it's hurting too much. And I like that, and I like the fact that this immigrant tells the truth to the immigration officer. He doesn't have any choice, and he will bend the truth at school because he has this urge to be surrounded by children and to teach them, and he knows he can help them. Um, and, and you're right about the fact that we're all immigrants, so I try to treat the subject in the way that it's a meeting of others and not just this one, this guy is not from here. For me, having a character as an immigrant allows me to look at who we are as a society or as a people, you know, through the point of view of someone who, uh, whose references are not the same. Talk about Algiers, because I, I, luckily I know the history pretty clear. It could, he could have been anywhere or anybody, but I like that you chose that. Why did you choose that? I chose Algeria because it makes sense in, 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 uh, for the French language, of course, because his second language, and it's, in a way, it's first lang his first language is also French, but he's, he's from Arab origin. And, and, and uh, in, in Quebec, we speak French, and we were a former French colony, uh, and so, so is Algeria. So, and also, on a personal level, I wanted to go to Algeria in 1992. I was in Egypt, and the bomb exploded at the airport of Algeria, and it was the start of the Civil War, so I had to cancel my, my trip there. And uh, I followed the Civil War there. It was terrible. You know, they were targeting anyone who was doing intellectual or artistic work. And it, it, it really touched me. So when I saw this play five years ago about this Algerian refugee, uh, it like was a reminder of that, you know, forgotten rendezvous that I miss with Algeria. So all of these things came together and I wanted to use an Algerian immigrant. It could have been a Lim Lebanese immigrant, anyone from a, a, a country where they speak uh, a French. Working with the kids, the emotions, what you captured on the basis very important talk about that well you know casting kids you have to be very patient and and not do a whole bunch of casting but taking time with each and every one of them and I want I want kids who, who can do their lines like super naturally what I do is I close my eyes sometimes and just listen to them kids are beautiful to watch so they can be in the seduction business you know if I close my eyes and I just listen to them and I ask myself, is that true? You know, can I hear, could I hear a kid talking like that in real life? And if I say yes, that's what I like. And when I film them, it's the same, it's the same process. I don't want the kid to be acting. I, I don't want to see people acting. I want, I, I, I want to grab some, some truth in what they're doing. What's, what do you want the audience to capture out of this? What do you want them to take away when they well, when I was crafting the film, I wanted to the audience to 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 know that you know the the classroom is is a, like an incubator of young uh, human beings, a, a laboratory of life, and the act of education is much more than just learning to write and to read. Uh, but in a way, when I look at the film right now and I listen to what people have to say. I don't think I have a say in what the, the film is saying. Some people come to me and said, you know, my brother committed suicide, so your film really talked to me. Or other people will say, I come from Algeria and I'm teaching, so your film was about my experience. And other people will just say, it reminded me how important that time in our life was when we were kids in, in, in that classroom. So I'm, I'm happy that the film is talking to people on different levels. You know, the important thing about this, it seems like, you know, in, in the States now, almost every week, if not every two weeks, there's a teacher having sex with a child, or there's someone bringing a gun into school, or in this part, not to give anything away, a death that occurs in there. How timely is your film with this? Listen, I, I was absolutely not you know, inspired by any real event. That's, that's the funny thing. In reality, always, 
you know, surpasses fiction in a way. And three months ago, a, a teacher committed suicide by burning herself in, 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 the, in, in the schoolyard in France, protesting against harassment. So that's it's terrible. So it's, it's, stuff is happening. What the film is saying is two things. No matter how many rules we try to install, bad things will happen. And, and so should we forbid everybody to do everything just because some bad stuff is going to happen? Or should we just try to cope with drama when, when it happens uh, in, a, in, in, in the most simple and, and, and direct way and frontal way possible? And I think that's what the film is saying. The other thing that the film is saying is just, you know, beyond education system and curriculum and rules and regulation, let every teacher invest their own class. Let them have a say in how they want to deal with with, with teaching and let them have a class that resemble themselves. In the film, you have this guy who has an old style kind of teaching that would, you know, be kind of odd today. And in, in the classroom just beside him, there's Claire who has this all kinds of colorful ideas of, about how to teach. And I think both ways are good. You just have to let every teacher invest their own class. So what do you say to get the audience to come see this I say that despite the dramatic premise of the film, it's a luminous film, it has humor, and because everyone went to school, they'll find their own personal point of entry. I haven't met anyone who was disappointed with the film so far, so I think uh, the film is, is quite luminous, actually. What do you have coming up? <laughs> a political comedy, which is a little redundant when you say political comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Pleasure. Yeah.